All right, folks, how you doing? Russell True Results 303.com. Check out the website. Subscribe to the channel. Like the videos. Check the description box for the website address and other ways to connect with me Facebook, Twitter, things like that. Coming at you today, you can see I'm a little dressed up. It is Ash Wednesday. So, since I am doing more videos on Catholicism and Christianity, doing a quick video on Ash Wednesday for those. Who don't know what Ash Wednesday, uh, Ash Wednesday is? So first, we're going to talk about the ashes. Why do we put the ashes on the forehead with the cross? For that, we'll just take a few passages from the Bible. All right. So we start in Job, and it is Job sixteen fifteen where he says, I have sewed sackcloth upon my skin and have laid my strength in the dust. My face is red and weeping and deep darkness is on my eyelids, though there is no violence in my hands and my prayer is pure. So Job talks about dust. That's what the ashes are supposed to signify. Ashes, dust. That's kind of like they say where man came from dust, God formed us from dust. So we will go to Job again, Job 42. Six, and this is just, I'll go to five. And he says, I had heard of you by the hearing of the ear, but now my eye sees you. Therefore, I despise myself and repent in dust and ashes. I like that one. That's pretty good. That one kind of breaks down what Ash Wednesday is about. It is about a, a day of repentance because the journey. And the path that God has set for us sometimes with our own selfishness, we, we veer off path and we do not follow the way and the path that the Lord has set for us for His glory, of course, because that's what it's about, helping others and His master plan and why we are here on this earth. And then the next one, we're going to go to Daniel 9, 3, and 4. That's going to say, Then I turned to the Lord. To seek an answer by prayer and supplication with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. I prayed to the Lord my God and made confession, saying, O Lord, great and awesome God, keeping covenant and steadfast love with those who love you and keep your commandments. So that's a good, a good one as well. It's about prayer, fasting, and confession. And that's pretty much sums up what Ash Wednesday is about. I wish I would have videotaped it because ours it was the children's mass this morning. And the children came up and they get, did a whole display on what it was truly about. So for us, we also, for, for the Catholic faith, we also do fasting during this time. It used to be a little more hardcore back in the day, but now it's just more of fasting from meat on Wednesday, of course, Ash Wednesday. And then every Friday during Lent, because this is the beginning of Lent. and it goes all the way up until Easter. It's also a representation of the 40 days and nights that Jesus fasted in the desert. This is the 40 days and nights for us just to kind of look inward and see the changes that we need to make in our life, what we can do to better follow God, serve God, serve others. So during this time as well, we also look at something that we can give up, something that we're going to fast from, something that we're not going to do during this time. Whatever that can be for you, whatever a vice is, a lot of people will do drinking, smoking, things of that nature. But the whole objective of this is to pick something that you struggle with, whatever this issue is in your life that you struggle with. And the main goal is, once this 40 days is up, to, to no longer perform whatever that sin is or that struggle in your life that you have. And then, of course, Ash Wednesday is also about trying to recognize God's path for you and get back on track and follow that path, whether it be through more prayer, attending church more, because of course in the, in the Catholic faith, we actually have a mass, a church service every day of the week, just depending on the church that is near you. Sometimes it's at night, sometimes it's in the morning. If it's a large cathedral, it could be in the afternoon. So it's also a time for you to be able to maybe attend church. And once again, it's also a time of, of confession and repentance. So going to confession is a, is a good thing that you can do as well during this time period. 
So Ash Wednesday is pretty much just evaluating yourself, your life, where you are at on the mission and the plan that God has set for us. This is also a day where non-Catholics, you can attend Mass at all times, but for the Eucharist part of Mass, of course, you cannot go up. And I think that might detour some of the other Christian faiths of coming to a regular Catholic Mass because they're just kind of stuck sitting in the pews by themselves while everyone's going up for Eucharist. Anyone can go up and receive the ashes on their forehead. Everyone has that privilege of being able to go up there and participate. All right, so there you go. Quick little video on what Ash Wednesday is, what it's all about. I'm going to try and get this video out. i got to go to work. I'm going to try and get it posted. For those who see it, just remember, everybody's invited. It doesn't matter what part of the Christian faith you are a part of, what denomination, you can still go. So if this video catches you before nighttime, feel free to go to your nearest Catholic church, look it up, see what time they are holding a Mass, and participate in this. It'll be a great experience for you and, and get you going and understanding a little bit more about the Catholic faith. All right, so like the video, subscribe to the channel, share this with those who, who have questions and interests about the Catholic faith. And we, we'll be coming back at you with some more videos on Christianity and Catholicism. And of course, on fitness, nutrition, diet, things like that. Anything that's going to help you become a better person. So thank you and stay tuned for another video.